Victor. Hello. And we are presenting our Book with You for Winter collection. We wanted this collection also to be entertaining and lighthearted and fun is maybe not the right word, but colorful, optimistic, to make people smile, especially now. We feel yeah. something neat. We were I think more and more we try to stay away from trying to define the future and trying to know the future and we just try to live in the moment, in the present, because that's all there is. It's extremely tempting to, to keep thinking about the future and about the past and obviously we always we do that, but it doesn't exist. It's a good question because uh, funny, you know, they stopped doing ready to wear. Uh, because of the pace, you know, of the fashion system that is just so demanding and from the moment you sketch a cloth and then it goes into production and it ends up in the store, you know, there's like this gap of 18 months, which makes no sense. And the way, uh, you know, I, I've been seeing them creating for the last couple of years and it's not about, uh, yes, it's about uh, side guys, but it's also about ideas that are not related to fashion. I think the way I see them, I always de describe them as fashion artists who actually, you know, they respect the Couture calendar to show their work. But, uh, you know, it could be, uh, you know, for me, they're more like artists who are in this uh, Couture calendar. You know, it, it's not uh, it's not about selling dresses and uh, having people wear their dresses on red carpet. Now, the thing that just came to mind is that this is not an answer to your question, but of course, we always try to make something surprising to ourselves, something that is new for us. So this relates to our past and therefore also to our future. But it's not necessarily society or what people will wear that we will take as a touchstone. It's more what is new to us, what feels new, what feels sparkling, what feels interesting, interesting and exciting to us. Lucky in that we had a few projects that were pretty far in the future anyway. They were postponed a little bit, but we were able to continue working on them almost as if nothing was happening. It's just the physical meetings switched to digital meetings. Um, yeah, a lot, a, lot, a lot changed from physical encounters to, to digital encounters, but uh, we were surprised how it was in a way almost business as usual. The monotony of I mean, everyday life became more monotonous than it used to be for everyone, obviously. Like not being able to travel, uh, work situation being different or slightly altered. So I think that that's, that's maybe a change that to me personally, I only noticed after months that it was affecting me. But at, at first I thought, oh, it's actually kind of nice, kind of calm. <laughs> I think, um, maybe I shouldn't say this, but personally, I sometimes wonder if there will be less fashion in the future, or and if, if not less fashion, then less products, just less, just less, period. Uh, which, would lead to the question that we can ask ourselves, like if there is less, then what is what is it that would be worth staying? What is it that would be worth having? What is it that we would be worth acquiring? I, I think at a certain moment when we when we um, realize that being in the system the way we were made us so unhappy. Uh, one of the things was that we had to let go of um, five-year plans or we really somehow retreated from it because happiness, what Victor said from in the beginning, we have to find it in the moment. And it was really a conscious attempt from us to try to do that and try to find that um, beyond products. And, ma and making the making couture collections twice a year is in a way celebrating uh, a creative moment where we're together, we make, we have ideas, we create something, and, the collection comes out. And where fashion is as well, you know, maybe or because we, we sometimes use the word spiritual glamour, that 
it's a message and you can communicate with me with, and it's not only about just the product you need to sell. I think the need and, 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 and also the, uh, that it's a platform for creativity and, and the need for originality. But as well, when, when we talk about royalty, there's always people on the first row that people are obsessed with. The people itself change, but the concept of first row and VIP. The system doesn't, the, the, the hierarchy. It always stays, the hierarchy always stays. The and it's something that interests us.